How's it going? Funny seeing you up here. What's that? Oh, you were you were looking for me. What's going on? How can I help you? Oh, you oh you just want to go for another walk. Sure. Yeah, I can, I can do that with you. I don't have any plans right now. Oh, and you want to hear another story about oh a song of ice and fire. <laughs> it is a very compelling. Sure. Yeah, we could do that. I know. I, I love it up here, too. The landscape's just breathtaking. And that stream that goes with the, with the view. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. I, I love a good foggy day, too. It just has so much mystery and calm about it. This way, sure. So, Winterfell is the ancestral castle and seat of power of House Stark, and is considered to be the capital of the North. Sort of like what Solitude is for Skyrim. Complex. Sp 
spanning several acres and protected by two massive walls. Kind of like the walls we have here. There is a village outside the winter town. Winterfell has been built around an ancient god's wood and over natural hot springs. The water is piped through walls and chambers to heat them, making Winterfell more comfortable than other castles during the harsh northern winters. We know all about that, don't we? Oh, what's that? You want to head outside now? Sure, I'll come with you. Let's let's go ahead and take off. Yeah, I love it out here too. It's a really nice reprieve from all the hustle and bustle of the city. And the guards really don't bother us too much out here. I'm pretty sure they know our faces by now. It's interesting down there. Uh, just keep an eye out. There's plenty to be found out here. Oh, you're right. Look at that. The moon looks gorgeous up there. I know I love this bridge, too. The bridge here is so calming and warm sometimes, isn't it? Just don't get too close to those. <laughs> Come up. 
window on the covered bridge, one can see the entire yard. Beneath the great keep are cellars with narrow windows. The great hall is used for receiving guests and the place where the household dines together, including the Lord of Winterfell. It is made of gray stone and has wide doors made of oak and iron, which opens to the castle yard, and a rear exit leads to a dimly lit gallery. Inside, it can hold eight long rows of trestle tables. What? Oh, we're going inside. Uh, I don't think they were expecting us, but okay. Hello there. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit. Kind of escape the wind, if you don't mind. Uh, do you know this guy? Oh, you do? Okay. He doesn't seem very talkative, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, we can just hang out here. That's cool. Uh, where was I? Oh, inside it can hold eight long rows of trestle tables, four to each side of the central aisle, and the hall can seat a five hundred is a raised platform for noble guests, and the walls are covered with banners. The hall contains the high seat of the old kings in the north. The seat's cold stone has been polished by the many lords who have sat upon it, and its massive arms are decorated with the carved heads of snarling direwolves. Yeah, a dire wolf, that's pretty cool. Huh? It's gotta be pretty pretty intimidating to see something like that or a werewolf or any of those kinds of mythological beasts. I'm glad we don't have any in White Run. Um, it's a pretty safe city, all things considered, huh? The first keep is a squat and round drum tower and is the oldest surviving part of the castle but is no longer in use around it lies a ledge yard where the kings of winter would bury their loyal servants the keep has gargoyles atop it maester Kennet determined it was built after the andals arrived the Broken Tower, also known as the Burned Tower, was once the tallest watchtower in Winterfell. Over 140 years ago, a lightning strike set it on a fire, and the top third collapsed inward, but no one rebuilt it. It stands behind the old inner ward, crow's nest atop the broken tower. Oh, that's a nice flower. <sighs> that horse is beautiful. We probably shouldn't touch it though. Who knows? It would freak out or not. The ancient gods would have stood untouched for 10,000 years with three acres of old packed earth and close together trees creating a dense canopy which the castle was built around. Hello there. Hello 
guest house, an underground hot spring feeds three small pools with a moss covered wall looming above them. The god's wood is enclosed by walls and is accessed by a main iron gate or smaller wooden ones. Yeah. Yeah, the air is so crisp out here. It's just so, so beautiful. The glass garden. That's a pretty cool invention. It's like a place where you can grow things even in the winter time. The glass garden is a greenhouse heated by the hot springs, which turn it into a place of moist warmth. It is used to grow fruits, vegetables, and flowers. The garden has green and yellow glass panes locked in frames. The Crypt of Winterfell, located near the first keep, is where members of House Stark are buried. Yeah, I guess they have crypts underneath their city, similar to what we have, like with crypts around the area. I'm sure there's probably don't have stories of walking dead and things like that inside of them. The underground grips are long and narrow with pillars moving two by two along its length. Between pillars stand the speculars of the Starks of Winterfell, the likenesses of the dome dead seated thrones with iron swords set before them to keep the restless spirits from wandering and snarling direwolves at their feet. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to use that green melon. <laughs> what would you even do with it? It is pretty cool. outer wall 
is 80 feet high, while the inner is 100 feet high, with a wide moat between them. There are guard turrets on the outer wall, and more than 30 watch turrets on the a narrow tunnel inside of the inner wall, stretching halfway around the castle, allowing travel from the south gate all the way to the north gate without interruption. The hunter's gate is close to the kennels and the kitchens. It opens directly onto open fields in the wolf's wood, so people can come and go without having to cross through winter down. It is favored by hunting parties. The east gate leads to the king's road. The king's road's gate may be another name for the same gate. The battlement's gate is a small arched bowstring. This is a metery if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't think they would be open at this time of night. That would be a little, a little crazy. They're not looking in yet. Yeah, the haunting brew metery. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we should be here. The guards might yell at us. nice 
nice flower. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah, I, you know, I never really took the time to come out here and just start, you know, gathering different herbs and things before. I didn't realize there was just so many here. It's crazy when you just start surroundings, you start seeing things that you never really noticed before. It's pretty cool. Normally I'm just breezing through here, trying to go to the next destination and things like that. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. You want to go on the bridge? <laughs> I don't think that we should. You know, we're kind of getting a little far away from down now. You're gonna jump up there, huh? Okay. Oh, careful. You almost fell off. That uh, uh, That's pretty good. That's not too bad. Just be careful with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hear that? Uh, yeah, yeah, come back down from there quick. That was definitely a wolf. No, it wasn't a dire wolf, just... believe it was built in pieces over different eras since the ancient Starks did not level the ground and plan it as a single structure. For most of recorded history, Winterfell was the seat of House Stark, the kings in the north, and later the wardens of the north after King Doran Stark bent the knee to Aegon the Conqueror and his dragons. That is pretty cool. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of um other notes and things like that I have written here, but it's more about the more recent happenings and there's some fighting and things going on right now. So who knows, you know what official history will be once it's all completed. No, I won't bore you with that. Wait, what's that? You hear something? What is it? 
Eliza. Oh, I, I hear a dude. That's a strange sound. Oh, wait a minute. I bet you it's that flower, that hummingflower. I can't remember the name of it. It's around here somewhere. I can just hear it. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah.